Good morning and thank you for being here with us today. Over the course of the next two days, you will be engaged in professional learning around best practices in the use of educational technology, both in the classroom and online. The colleagues who are in front of you today have worked collaboratively with a diverse group of grade level teachers from each building to develop and implement these two professional days of learning. Their input was invaluable and has allowed us to bring you collective cross grade level expertise that will assist you in becoming more comfortable with technology that can engage students through enhanced delivery of your own curriculum. It will also set a solid foundation that will provide a positive educational technology experience for the entire GMSD community. I cannot tell you enough how blessed we are to have such a talented group of teachers who have provided their individual insight on best practices in educational technology. And I cannot thank them enough for all the work they have done to prepare for today. And I hope you will also express that thanks as well. A lot of learning in which you will engage over the next two days will reflect an intentional effort to standardize the use of online resources across grade levels and buildings. The expectations are clear. All Google Classrooms across the district will be set up in a standardized format so that our families know exactly what to expect each week and where they can easily find daily assignments and activities. It is our goal to make the navigation of Google Classroom as seamless as possible for our students and families. It is also an expectation that Google Classroom will be used during in-person instruction to ensure that our students and teachers are ready to pivot to full online learning when necessary. Therefore, whether a student is online or in the classroom, the platform for delivery of instruction, student and teacher interactions, assignments and assessments will look familiar. As I speak to you right now, we are about one week away from our school board reviewing our health and safety plan. There are still many questions that need to be answered, and we know that you will have many questions throughout these two days of learning. Some questions that might be on your mind might include, when the school year starts, will we be in person? Will there be a hybrid schedule? Will we be totally online? And if we are online, what does the daily schedule for elementary look like? What does the schedule for secondary look like? These are larger systematic questions that the district and your principal will answer more specifically in the days and weeks after the board votes on the plan and we have a clear understanding for our path forward in the 2021 school year. There are no specific answers to those questions and many other questions you might have right now. So I ask that you put those aside and focus on the topics related to professional learning in which you are, will engage today and tomorrow. Please do not put your colleagues in a situation where time is spent on systematic questions they just can't answer. So here's the ask for the day. Your facilitators have created a parking lot space for your questions. Please use that space for questions directly related to the topics and resources they will be sharing with you over the next two days. Focus your time on learning how to create your standardized Google Classroom, understanding how assessment can and should look different in an online environment, how to build relationships in an online environment, and learning how to use Pear Deck to engage students and check for understanding, as well as much, much more. Your questions should stay within those topics presented today so that on day three, you are able to take that information and apply it on your own to your specific grade level and curriculum to prepare for the upcoming school year, regardless of what it looks like. Although we cannot clearly see what 2021 has in store for us, we know that Mustang Nation will always rise to the challenge and we will do whatever it takes to provide our students and families with a high quality education. So at this time, I will hand it over to your colleagues to take it from here. Please give them the grace and patience that we all need and expect in return during these uncertain times. Thank you and have a great day.